welcome to another Rod Squad Retro Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at another recent addition to the collection, which is, as you can see, the Neo Geo X Gold Limited Edition. Limited, I guess, is because it came with the SD card here of Ninja Masters. What do you think, babe? Uh -huh. Yeah, we just recently picked this up with the Retro Duo. You guys have probably seen the Retro Duo series that we just did. That was extremely exhausting. So right now, we're going to focus a little bit on the Neo Geo X Gold. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, you know what? No, no. Let's not give it. I guess we can do it from here. Yeah, sounds good. Um, pretty much the back of the box pretty much gives you a little illustration of everything that is included with the system. It has a uh, the game port itself, the actual handheld. The reason it's a Neo Geo X Gold because it's actually a handheld system, right, bit? Mm -hmm. It's actually a handheld system that has about 20 SNK Neo Geo games loaded in. They're already preloaded. And the reason is again is limited is because it came with a Neo a Ninja Masters uh, SD card, card SD yeah. card right that goes into the actual game uh, console that you carry with you the portable portion and then it has a uh, a replica of an actual Neo Geo uh, arcade stick pretty nice okay but anyway that's what it looks like and it has all the different games so we'll get take a good look at the games once I connect it to the television but that's what we have right there. Again, this is uh, the replica of the actual arcade stick for the Neo Geo AES system. It came out way back when. We never got one. Nope. It came very, very close. Quick story. Uh, we saved up quite a bit of money. We had over $500. We went to this one location, went to go pick it up, and the uh, patron, the person who owned the, the sales business, lady. Yeah, she wouldn't uh, give us a break. We wanted to buy at least a system with at least one game and it came out with just fifteen dollars extra she wouldn't haggle at all with us so we never we, got, end, we ended up just dropping <laughs> the system there we never end up got we never ended up getting the uh, neo geo actual aes system and we're talking about way back in 1990 what was that 93 93 94 yeah. something like that it was way back when but uh she never gave us but anyway this is the actual um replica of the arcade stick it's pretty big really nice a little light Never felt the other one, so I, I, from what I hear, the other one's a little heavier, more sturdy. The plastic is a little cheaper, of course. Um, makes that little clicking sound. Clicking sound. Am I on focus, babe? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Little clicking sound. It has the different buttons: uh, pad B, pad A, C, D. All the different buttons right here. It has a start and a select right here. On the bottom right here. Again, it's like a cheap type plastic to it, but it works. The uh, the length of the cord itself is pretty long. It looks like it's about maybe three feet. Mm -hmm. maybe Just about. about. Feet, something like that. Has a little rubber on the pieces right here so it'll stick and it won't slide when you put it on a flat surface. Really, really nice. Then over here it came with a uh, standard adapter. All right? Standard adapter with it. Composite AV wire cables. All right? And also gives you the option. It comes with uh, uh, HDMI. Uh, Board. so it's pretty cool with the manual the manual has uh, you know pretty much the information on the system and the different games that are in there and this is the actual uh, port itself on which you connect the handheld now it does resemble an actual system the only difference is this right here does not open um, in the actual system itself it it opens so there it is and, and the cartridge the are gigantic this is pretty heavy in the back it has AV uh, the AV output uh, here it has the it looks like the yeah the 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 adapter for the power right here HDMI uh, port right here uh, has a menu button that you press right here the start buttons here and it has the two different uh, uh, ports so you can connect the um, controllers controllers it's interesting because it's a you know just go back with it just real quick it, it's it goes this right here is a USB so you connect it now you would think that with all the other USB controls we have right mm -hmm. ps3 xbox all those type of things that we no this will not recognize any other than, than the this. neo geo one pretty itch, i mean pretty pretty and it only comes with one so you would have to buy right. another one another separately 50 bucks just to get one of these and stuff so um you know anyway um there you go that, this is how you open it there's a little switch right here that you open it right this is the inside right here so you can, can you see it can you see it babe? it's dark i can't see anything can you see it now Yes, now I can see. Pretty it. good. Yes. Okay. Anyway, the console, the actual console itself is this. This is the port again that it connects to. Yes. Right. Uh, this is the actual console. This is the console itself. It's actually a handheld, really nice, light, 
really big screen. Look at the white screen. It's about the size there. of a PSP. Yeah, look almost. at how white that screen is. Isn't that very nice? Mm -hmm. It has the little controller. The directional pad does a little clicking noise. Mm -hmm. It has the standard uh, A, B, C, D buttons. It has a menu button right here. It has a start button right here. It has headphone jack. Uh, the volume setting right here, you know, the volume settings on this side, I'm sorry. This is for brightness and, uh, you know, make it bright and, and light. Then on the top you have the L, uh, L1, R, L2, R1, R2. Has a, uh, look, what is that? Looks like a little, uh, to connect the... Uh, that's a USB, that's a USB port. It's a USB micro, right? Yeah. So it looks like a USB micro. It's pretty interesting. And then it has the AV output right here. So you can actually connect. You don't need this. You can actually connect this directly to your TV. television itself. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then it has the HDMI port also right there. Really nice in the back. Look at that. Nice SNK thing right there. It's rubber in the back also. Very comfortable in the hands. Right? Let me just uh, get a little closer to you guys. Ah, a, little, a little closer to you guys. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Do you got it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yes? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, let's turn it on. I didn't check. I didn't check the uh, the uh, the uh, battery length on this, but I think in the in the thing it says it gives you about four hours. That's shitty. Which is three to four hours. Watch PG PG. Uh, as you can see, very nice. Okay, that's that. Don't want to bore you guys real quick. But I just want to let you know. Look, can you see it? Mm-hmm. Yes. I have it zoomed in. All right. Let's just pick any game. Doesn't matter, right? Do this one. No, no, let's go to Metal Slug, right? Hold up, favorites, hold up right? a little. Can you see like it? Good? That. Can you see it? As you can see, it's all preloaded. These are ROMs that are preloaded into this system right here. So once you pick whatever game that you want to do, it just loads from a ROM. Sounds pretty nice, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty nice. I'm guessing that it looks stretched a little bit, the screen. What do you think? No, it's fine. Because of how wide it is? Yeah. Does look nice though. Sounds nice. Uh -huh. So you can see it pretty good? Uh -huh. I'm just going to go ahead and just throw it on real quick. Come on. Okay, there you go. Can you see it? Uh -huh. it? It looks real nice. To me, I like it. It looks very, very nice. Right now. Look at that. This is actually one of the best because we never get a video this way. This this series is awesome. You got it. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Let's go save the POW. Okay. Anyway, that's how it looks. You can always go back, go back to the home. To the home screen and what you do is it'll bring you right back to the select so you can pay, select a different game so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and look at it on how it looks on the composite once we connect it to the system so we're going to do that now go all right everybody so right now what i did was i connected the neo geo back um, system back into the port uh and uh connected it to the television the crt that i have right here via C uh, uh, av wires so uh we're going to do two two different types we're going to look at it and how it looks right here on the CRT with the AV, and then we're gonna connect it to a high def television through the HDMI. So as you can see, pretty much the same thing that I just seen in the handheld. What you see in the handheld, you see up here. So the same game that we were just playing, Metal Slug, we're gonna look at it here and let it load and see what it looks like on this right here. Um, there is a little bit of a difference. I'm gonna see if you guys can see it as soon as it comes up. We thought it was uh, us, but it turned out, no, it's not. And you'll see right now what we're talking about. So. Here it comes. We're just gonna bother a little bit so you guys can hear it. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but what it is, what we're looking at is, um... Metal slug. Come on, baby. The screen looks a little dark. What do you think, babe? It's a little dark and a little fuzzy. Right? It has a little fuzziness to it. Yeah. What a fun freaking game though, I tell you. Anyway, as 
you can see, it looks dark. Uh, there's other games that looks a little more dark. Well, maybe you can fix the brightness on your TV and maybe it'll make it look oh, a little better. I tried. Remember we tried? You know, every time I do these videos, I get caught up on the games. <laughs> right, baby? Yeah. What a fun fucking game. Oop, did I just say that? Yes, you did. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. PG. I'm sorry. That's all right. I said crappy before, but I said the other I'm one. I'm sorry. What a fun freaking game, though. Now, we're going to show you what it looks what this looks like on the big screen. Remember, this is the AV version. Now we're in the Metal Slug itself. Back up. Come on, back up. Oh, what a fun game. Alright, so we're going to pause this. Okay. Oh, that's why I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the actual menu is on the actual port itself. Uh, I was doing that. So anyway, we're going to go right back to the actual menu screen and just try to show another game real quick. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's do, let's do Magician Lord. Let's do Magician Lord real quick. Now, we're going to, uh, right after this game right here, we're going to connect to the HDMI to show you what the difference on how these two games looked on this and how they looked on HDMI. So we don't want to make this video too long, but we definitely want to give it uh, justice. And you, I don't know if you can hear our birds. There they go again. They're not can making you... noise. They're just talking. Okay, see, see how it looks? See how it looks? You see that? Look how dark it looks, the resolution. And this is because of the composite. You'll see what we're talking about when we do the... Uh, the LCD screen. The, yeah, the uh, HDMI portion. So. It's just really dark. Have you ever played this game before? Oh, you killed me already. All right, you know what? All right, we're gonna go ahead and go to the HDMI. All right, so give us a quick second. All right, everybody, so what we did was we took it off the CRT AV connection and connected it to the HDMI to our uh, HDMI high def television, just to give you an idea what it looks like. Immediately, as you can see, the menu screen is light lighter. It's a lot lighter and a lot clearer. So the games that we just did were Metal Slug, am I correct? Yes. Metal Slug and Magician's, Magician's Lord, right? something. So we're gonna go ahead and load these two up real quick and see how they, how this compares to the other one. So um, maybe you guys can understand what we're saying. It looks a lot better when it's on this than it is on that. It's because it was meant to be on a TV like this. I guess, I guess. I think there was a button here that you could make it uh, the screen a little smaller. You got it? You got it? Yes, this? I got it. Is it too loud? No, it's fine. Yeah, I want you to be able to hear me. Too. Metal slug. Metal slug, it says. Yeah, it looks much better on this TV it than does, it does right? on the other one. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and place metal slug. Metal slug. And it's a lot brighter and it's not as fuzzy. Mission one, start. Now you can see, look how clear it looks, but the picture does look stretched. It looks fine to me. It looks very I don't know what you're talking about. It looks fine to me. Stretch. It looks way better than it did on the other TV. It's a lot brighter. It's a lot more distinctive. It's not fuzzy. He says it's stretched. I don't see it. Yeah, it's stretched. It's a little loud. I want you guys to hear us. Can you hear it? Yes. I tell you, this game is something else. It doesn't show blood. It's pretty funny, this game. It's because it's made for children. No, but it doesn't show blood. There's a fish on the floor. Goodbye, buddy. Buddy. So far, so good? Yep. But you can see the difference, right? It's totally better than the other one. Yeah, so... I don't think this was made for the, uh, the I AV. I don't know if that's what it is. I don't know if that's what it is, or... I think this was made for. I don't know if that's what it was. I think I I think I think that um because we played 
these games on um, AB with the PS2 versions. And yeah, but those so are powerful systems. I think it's because of the system itself is powerful. Yeah, but if this it's is not like, meant to be on another TV like that. That's pretty weird. Uh, you know what, or I maybe always, it's just those wires are cheap and you need to get up, upgradable ones. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I'm being a little crazy. Get out, get out, bro. Okay. All right, all right, so let's go back home and look at Magician's Lord as we can finish this up. So you got the good screen, you got everything? Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. So let's go to Magician's Lord, see how Magician's Lord look. Uh, we just did, we just checked how these games looked on the CRT on the AV uh, connection so now we're doing an HDMI again on a high depth television so we're gonna see so so far Metal Slug look great uh, to me the picture does look stretched I think there's an option here that you can make the picture smaller I think it is but uh, yeah look, look at the difference can you see it already wow it's like crystal clear you see it completely it's fantastic different. it looks like, it's it looks bright it's not different. fuzzy he's not red <laughs> and the other one he was red. Yeah, because you I told that? you it's the A V thing. You need to upgrade those wires. Maybe you got cheap ones. I don't know, but it came with it. Yeah, well sometimes when the things come with it, it's not necessarily mean that they're great. They give you the cheap version to keep costs down. Oh, man. I died already. Yo, that sucks. <laughs> this is a pretty fun game though, right? But I have it. We have it. We have these games on the SNK uh, Arcade Classics mm -hmm. uh, on the PS2, the volume, volume one. So we have it. I also have it on our modded Xbox on the uh, actual arcade version. So you know what? Okay. All right. Looking sad right now. All right. Let's do this. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and give my final thoughts on this real quick. Um, you got me. Uh, final thoughts real quick. Neo Geo X Gold is a pretty, pretty cool system. Um, I and it's portable. And it's portable, of course. That's the cool thing about it. You can actually play a game and take it with you, which is pretty awesome. Um, it has an SD card port, so you can actually add games to it. Also, um, the I understand that you can actually get an SD card hacked, so you can put all the SNK different titles on the screen. It's an cool. SD thing. It's a reader, so I'm pretty sure that you can get them hacked. Get yeah. an SD card and just put all the games on yeah, the SD card. Put all card. the ROMs on it, and then and it, it should, should play, work. It should play really good. We haven't well. tested that yet, though. We haven't done that also, but we've seen how it looks on the AV. Uh, we give it a. We don't give it such high high marks on the AV connection to the CRT. The HDMI looks really really nice. The handheld looks really really nice. Big con on me is I'll give you one of these. Yeah, you you can't have fun because you can't even play yeah. with someone. You have to get another. You have one to get another one. one. So run about fifty bucks, and also. Just because it has a USB connection doesn't necessarily mean that uh, they made this so you can't use anything other than this. So just because you have a PS3, which would be awesome, uh, um, our controller or an Xbox 360 controller or any one of those controllers. Anything that, that has, has USB speed, compatibility. Right, unfortunately, it will not it work, doesn't work. This, So, um, So that's our thoughts. Let me just get you the box real quick. Neo Geo X Gold. Uh, Neo Geo X Gold. Mixed feelings. I, if I give it a um, out of ten, I give it a six. Six, six and a half. What do you think? Eh, yeah, just about. Six and a half, maybe a seven pushing it. What hurts it really is the AV wires again. Manufacturer uh, price is also heavy. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty expensive. Yeah. It's very, very expensive. Online. It was like two, two, what, two hundred, three hundred dollars? It was pretty, pretty expensive for this right now. We here. got ours for a good price at. Brooklyn video games. Yeah, and they have the different game packs for it that you can get. Yes, really you can get them separately. Yeah. So definitely want to give tell you how I feel. It's mixed and anything. As far as you play it on the HDMI, it looks really nice. Um, if you carry it in, in your hand, it looks really, really nice. If you can get the SD cards hacked and or you can get the game packs, which are very expensive, get it. And um, of course, you get another one of these because a lot of these games are made for two players, not just one. So mm -hmm. give it a seven out of ten for us here at Rod Squad Retro Reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you guys next time. Keep next it retro. Day. Keep it retro.